it's a real deal. It just happened. It's exciting. It's fresh. So let's yeah, let's yeah. talk a little bit about that. So then I Googled Andrew up and then I started this podcast. And from that podcast, Andrew mentioned that um, you have a new show. It's called Are You Hot Seat? Right. So I was at the gym the same day and I flipped over, right? Like, oh. I loved it because this is what I was looking for all the time, right? Yeah. It's really nice with the REI hot seat listeners because you guys are farther, a lot further ahead than most in terms of the education. You know, everybody in this room knows that multifamily is a wealth creator yeah. mm -hmm. and it's an overtime wealth creator. There's definitely going to be people out there that are the active people, but yeah, I love the fact that that, that this show specifically can sort of educate people on that topic. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to REI Hot Seat. Andrew Hines here with a full crew here to uh, join me on the show. So we have Ayub Rahim. I get it right? That's right. Nailed All right. It. And then Nailed it. And then Dave and Jake. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll have to yeah. say, so, so Ayub's not the newest member of the team because I know we've been playing musical chairs <laughs> yeah. here with, uh, with different realtors. But, um, yeah. but actually, Ayub is a, is a REI listener who reached out through the link below that we always drive home. And we were able to sit down, uh, Abe and I met first, we had coffee, we kind of went through that journey that we always talk about. Um, he was introduced to Dave and Mark, who brought them through the whole journey. And we, you know, he just closed on a deal. Um, and so we wanted to bring him in and, and, and kind of go over the deal right? It's a, it's a real deal. It just happened. It's exciting. It's fresh. So let's, yeah, let's yeah. talk a little bit about that. Um, and we can, as Andrew said, before we started, we can do kind of the before middle and, yeah, and yeah. after. Yeah. yeah. And, well, like outlining the experience of, uh, a buyer, like a, a like first time multifamily buyer. That's correct. First yeah. property. Yeah. First yeah. property, first yeah. investment property. So, <laughs> so somebody right. who comes into the experience of listening to my podcast or now, you know, moving over to REI hot seat, learning about it, yeah. then getting notions in your head about what it is you want to do based on what you've heard yeah. on the show, then actually getting into the process and kind of clarifying what it is you're trying to get out of it, yeah. which I'm assuming happened for you and how it fits. Yeah. And I, I'd love to start yeah. by asking you, but yeah. why multifam? Yeah. I know it's a broad question, but Well, yeah. Please. So I started out, uh, I, wanted, I wanted to get into um, owning a property, right? So investment property. So I, uh, I started with the Keyspire bootcamp. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and I didn't know what, what I'm moving to end up with, right? So they talk about as you get more units, it's better to cash flow, right? Mm -hmm. So then I did more research and then I said, Oh, I need a multifamily to actually cash flow in this market, right? Yeah. Or this yeah. time. So that's where I started and set on a multifamily. But the size of the unit I didn't know at the time. So then I did more research and then it's like because I didn't know about CMHC. So you want to be five and up to qualify for that, right? Yeah. Or that yeah. to get the CMHC approval, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then I settled in the multifamily for five units and up. So then <laughs> I didn't know how to go about it. So after the, um, after the Keys bar, they were telling you, they were, there was, um, a, it wasn't based on, or they weren't talking about multifamily, just like mm -hmm. maybe duplex, mm -hmm. triplex, right? But not the five and up. Right. So I didn't know how to go about to reach out to someone to do this. Right. So, um, they were talking about the 1% rule, right? Mm -hmm. And then 0.6 rule, right? So I would just go on real till and, and then look up a property, like multifamily. I started in Edmonton. Yeah. And then <laughs> I did the calculation, just high level. And then it was, you'll say, look at the, my cash flow, well, cash flow. Yeah. So that's like, what now? And were you finding 0.1 or 1% rules or 0.6 no, rules? No, no, you wouldn't no. find You, you would, could you'll find you could point make six. it, right? No. No, you couldn't? You Not could, in Edmonton? The points, the point one, you could make the point one. You're but, saying 1%, you could. Yeah. Make. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's, percent, yeah, that's right. That's probably coming back at some point maybe, but, uh, mm. but yeah, it's, uh, I haven't, I haven't found it. <laughs> no, no, I, I just mean it was a natural thing to kind of like steer back towards as interest rates came up, came up, but now that interest rates are kind of coming back down, yeah. it might go the Mike, way of the Buffalo. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Mike. yeah. And. So, okay, you, so you, so were you weren't looking, really yeah. finding 1% rule. That, that's an old rule. People used to be like, yeah, 1% rule yeah. on everything. I'm like, where are you finding that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless you're just like beating up off market sellers. Yeah. Not in Canada. But even then, even then, like, yeah. and, and, and it's, we get a surprisingly large amount of leads or clients that come to us and say, hey, you know, I, I'm looking for a 1% rule. Right. I'm, you know, I heard that's around an 8% cap rate and I want something downtown Toronto. I'm like, Great. Let's yeah. let's start with that. Time right? travel so, back to 1930. Yeah. So there's 
a lot of misinformation. I think that's where Andrew's podcast does really well is he, you know, he brings people on with real experience, exactly what we're doing today yeah. mm-hmm. to say, okay, so your journey started with 1% 0.6 rule. Um, and where did it go from there? How did, how did you end so, up? So I had a conversation with my financial advisor, right? And he was telling me that I should listen to his podcast, right? So I was, after the, we finished that our session that day, I, I was remember who's he talking about? So I was like, I went home and then he sent me a follow-up email. that says, oh, thanks, for sh- thanks for showing up. It's nice to see you. And then he, he attaches uh, Andrew's um, deal analyzer spreadsheet. Okay. So like, oh, maybe this is the guy he's talking about. Right. So then I Googled Andrew up and then I started to his podcast. And from that podcast, Andrew mentioned that, um, you know, a new show. It's called Are You Hot Seat? Right. So I was at the gym the same day and I flipped over, right? Like, oh, I loved it because this is what I was looking for all the time, right? Because yeah. I was used to listen to bigger pockets, yeah. right? And they were talking about underwriting the deal. I'm like, okay, what are you talking about? I don't know yeah. what underwriting the deal right. is, right? So then you guys did some, some yeah. analyzing, right? I was like, oh, this is a lot. I love this. So I was hoping. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Because yeah, we're it's always wondering unique. if we're doing the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty yeah. niche show in that regard because it's like pretty much strictly multifamily yeah. uh, focused with the odd, you know, flare off into another topic. But, and then what's specifically relevant to the multifamily buyer, the investor, like, and really, it's obviously you guys, you know, everybody in this room knows that multifamily is a wealth creator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and it's an overtime wealth creator. There's definitely going to be people out there that are the active people. But yeah, I love the fact that that, that this show specifically can sort of educate people on that topic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot doing that exactly. Right. Yeah. And then I think that was shortly before we connected, right? Yeah. And so then yeah. I, he says, because you guys just go click the link. Right? Yeah. So I clicked the link and then I, I got Shannon. Um, I, I filled out the form and then Shannon, I think, yeah. uh, called me and then set up a meeting with you. Yeah. And then you call me. Yeah. And then from that we meet up and then we talked about um I think we talked about like what what we're gonna what kind of building we're looking for. Yeah. And where which market? I guess I didn't know which location. And you were telling me like, okay, this market's good, this market's not good. Yeah. This pocket's within this market, it's good. So like yeah. I didn't know all this stuff. So then after we our conversation, we started talk I started doing more research of which which area, right? And then you put me on to Dave and then um Dave, uh, I think we did the introduction. I'm not sure we did the actual Zoom call for introduction or we just like, just like hi on the email and then we yeah, did, um, Zoom, so for you sure. sent me an email, a link for um, a Zoom call and then we, you sent two properties, right? So one was a purpose built and one was a non-purpose built. So we, we did the, we went yeah. through the spreadsheet yeah. and go through the numbers. Was it the same as what we do on the show? Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> so actually, <laughs> just testing. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So it was actually two properties. Like I didn't think later on, you guys did them on the show. So we went through the deals and yeah. 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 So basically he wanted to see what, um, what, what kind of building I'm looking for, if it's purpose yeah. built or non-purpose built. Yeah. So I told him I want to focus on the par- purpose built. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's nice. Like, I'll let Dave. I'll let you talk about it because I'm rambling on here. But I like that you do that. Yeah, right. Yeah. You 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 bring kind of two wildly different properties and say, listen, like, because at least in my experience, and hey, you, you can back me up on this, but like a lot of people, like he said, come out of these groups, come out of these education seminars, and they go, man, like I I know what I want to do, but where do I start? Yeah, right. Like I I want multifamily. I want yeah. cash flow. I want this, but is it best for me to invest turnkey? far away, close to home, Reno, yeah. Burr, yeah. like there's so many different things. Yeah. Um, so I think what you've, what you've done and it is really hone in on that. Yeah, so. Thank you. I think, uh, again, I, I feel like I say this, <clears throat> excuse me, every time we get on, but it's, it's centered around what we're trying to accomplish. I think a lot of times people get too, and you weren't, which is great, but too focused on this is exactly what I want, this market, this many units. And when you get into driving, like, why, what are we trying to accomplish? Mm-hmm. So I start always by turnkey or not purpose built or not and and showing data showing numbers we can start to drive down yeah. pretty quickly that's not for you that's for you and, and you know i'm famous for saying this building out filters mm-hmm. just adding filters into the yeah. discussion and you know t- i think it took us three maybe four zooms showing different deals really figuring yeah. it out until we get into this is a deal and it's really nice with the rei hot seat listeners because you guys are farther a lot further ahead than most in terms of the education we didn't have to do too much with respect to CMHC or why a debt cover ratio would matter. Like there's, there's a lot of things you guys had and we, we have the ability to sort of do those educations, but you didn't need it. So we moved pretty quickly to just getting into exactly what you're trying to accomplish and then finding those deals for you. 
Mm -hmm. And what, so jumping forward a little bit, what is the deal that we ended up, that you ended up buying, finding, reviewing? Um, maybe you want to tell us about yeah, it. Small and, detail. So, yeah, small yeah, yeah, so, detail. Yeah, the whole listener is like, talk <laughs> about the deal. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we started looking for, for a purpose build, um, like a six plex. I think me and Jake talk about it. And then what we end up with is a, a 20 unit uh, town, townhouse complex. Right. <laughs> it's a little bit different than what we started out with. And it's a little bigger than six yeah. units. Yeah. 20 units, but, where is it? Uh, Paisley. Paisley, Ontario. Paisley, why does that yeah. sound so familiar? It's because up. it's my model. It's near Bruce Power, so, which is yeah. the thing oh, I man, love. Right. I love yeah, all right. things I know Paisley, Bruce Power. Right? So th this is Dave convincing me yeah. to, um, when we started out, he's trying to push me to this, this area. And he convinced me to actually look at the numbers. And yeah. I actually looked at the numbers. And there's a lot of things I love about the deal. And one of the things is that the utilities is it's all zero. It's zero. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. I try to compare compare this deal with another deal, like in, I think in, in Kitchener. Mm -hmm. And that one was like the one in Kitchener was like a million dollar more. The um rent was a little higher, but the expense was like thirty thousand. Yep. Yeah. Right. And the net is is pretty much the same. Yeah. Yeah. And I think when we were talking, you had a few key filters indicators. So didn't want to be your, you, you have a job yeah and quite successful it doesn't want this this multifamily wasn't going to be your daily no. you didn't want trouble from no. that perspective you wanted some lift over time but didn't need to be you know immediate forced appreciation so we're not going to get you a building that has a whole bunch of terrible tenants that you're gonna you know and uh, you know it's falling apart and it needs all this stuff you needed a good quality uh, asset that could appreciate over time and, and you get your natural turnover. So it started checking all these boxes, you know, you wanted some cash flow. Um, so it, it really did start to hit metrics. Yeah. And I give you credit because you were open to a lot of different conversations. And, and again, data is what drove, you know, certainly one of the many ways we connected was on data, right? Like you're very analytical. We can look at stuff and say, that's not for me. That's for me. Yeah. Um, and it seemed to work. I mean, there's, there's good opportunity. It's not the only stuff. I know sometimes I preach yeah. so much about the Bruce power area. I just know it kind of well, but checking boxes that you were wanting it hit a lot of them. Yeah. And so, um, the, the product itself, so it's 20 townhomes. So traditional style townhomes, yep. one car garage, um, there's no garage, no, no garage. garages, so outdoor parking. Yeah. Right. Outdoor parking, uh, two story. Two story. Uh, there's 17 two bedrooms and three uh, three bedrooms. I mean, good mix. Okay. Yeah. No one beds. No, there, no. there's actually. I, I was looking at the the, the square footage yeah. of all the units, and then I should. I think they converted one of them from a three bedroom to a two bedroom. To a two bed. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because. And I know it's it's weird to say a one bedroom townhome, but we were actually looking at a portfolio. Yeah, or, 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 it was all townhomes. one bedroom townhomes, and we're like, "How does that even happen?" What a wacky design. But um, every, everything's metered on these, right? Yeah. Water, so gas, and yeah. gas and hydro. There's no gas. No gas. There's no gas. It's hydro and water. Yeah. So hydro so it's and all heat pumps or there's no nope. baseboard. Electric baseboard. Baseboard. Baseboards. Yep. Awesome. And um, acquisition strategy was straight to CMHC. Or we're going bridge to CMHC. We're going. Well, this was a unique prop. This is this is. Yeah, the, that's this, why I'm asking this, this question. This is the next right? uh, part of the deal that it's for, it was very good because um, because of the capital gain tax closing in on yep. July twenty was it June twenty fifth. Yep. Yeah, 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 June. Yeah. So this this the deal happened like it was it was on again, off again, on again, <laughs> off again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Dave almost pitched me this, uh, I think it was on Monday morning, I got an email from uh, Megan and says, Dave got a property, he's supposed to be interested. So I said, okay, we'll book a call. It was like, man, I think it was 11 o'clock in the morning. And I was like, okay, let's do it. And he says, oh, I got this unit, 20 Katayas units in Paisley. So I said, okay. And then he says, we'll put an offer in. But he said, there's someone with a, on the contract, right? I'm like, is that legal? He says, yeah, we can put, a, <laughs> we can put yeah. an offer in. So we did. And then I didn't hear back from like maybe three weeks or so. I said, what's going on? I, I remember I texted um, Mark. I was like, what's Mark? What's going on with this deal? He's like, oh, they're the, still deciding on the previous um, our person that has the deal on the contract. So that happened for a while. And then I got, an, I got a call from Dave, not email. Yeah. <laughs> we got, we got, we, if we move on this deal now, we'll get it. Uh, we'll get it. And he's like, well, we'll get a huge discount because of the capital gains tax. I'm like, oh, really? So I said, okay, let's do it. Right. Yeah. So and then we, what was it. the discount? Do you mind me asking? 
Am I multitudes of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we're not talking like a couple grand. No. <laughs> no. Are you okay with me giving the number? <laughs> yeah. 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 It was yeah. three hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah. And so because like if you would close before that. that yeah. So so yeah. what this what the seller said was he had sat with his accountants. Uh, they quantified the the amount to be about 300 a little bit over and so he said look i'm willing to take a three hundred thousand dollar haircut because i get off my hands yeah so he's basically passing that over to uh That's not so a small it was from original offer that we were going to do not the, not the asking price Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, the already, so, the already so, adjusted price. So there's yeah. list. Yeah. That's a that's a very so what was point. list versus uh, purchase again? If you're comfortable with us yeah. talking about that, it's about four four fifty or five four fifty. Yeah. yeah. Substantial. Four. Yeah. Four. Let's call it five hundred. Let's round, round up. up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And and the deal made sense off of the original discount. Right. right. And when you were able to sort of move quicker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to get that because you a lot i mean you, you guys know what during that june 25th shenanigans a lot of sellers were trying to capture yeah. a bunch of it saying okay i'll do 150 you save 150 yeah. this guy yeah. just said look yeah. get it gone uh, i you know i don't want to pay the government you know i want it off my hands yeah. let's go let's yeah. get it's do a deal and i know we did a whole episode on that andrew like you i think dave was there yeah we were um, talking about is it real <laughs> but we were talking about the, the, <laughs> yeah. the, the capital yeah. gains yeah. and saying like you know it's it's wild because all of these sellers started yeah. reaching out to us saying, guys, sell this. Yeah, I'll give you the discount, but I don't want to pay capital gain. Yeah, and so there was a period there where, yeah, you were doing a deal. I think I did a deal around the same yeah. time. Um, and there were all these heavy discount creative deals. Yeah. So it was a really good time for buying, actually. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And, and kudos, so and kudos to you. I got. I will say, like, uh, you were prepared. We went through the numbers. You were patient. But then when it was ready to transact, you, you you know, I know it's a lot, but like you did it. It's 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 interesting. The discount came from tax savings, not a problem of the deal. Right. So you're getting the same deal. You just got it hundreds of thousands yeah. of dollars yeah. discount to where it was. Yeah, I was looking back at the, the dates and I think that was like May 30th when we said we're going to get this deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we had to close yeah. in three weeks. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was like hyper speed. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Which, you and I had. Remember, we had that call. It's like, hey, we got to prepare. This is a, a yeah. lot of things are going to happen quickly, but we're going to make sure that we're we're all ready yeah. to do it. And did you do private financing on it? Uh, so we we had a um, yeah um, we um, no I, I refinanced my house out. That was in process, right? Mm -hmm. So that was a down payment, mm -hmm. and then we went to a, a lender to get the rest. Was bridge. it bridge? Yeah. 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 So bridge financing. Right. So yeah. interest only. Yep. Um, like an institution institutional okay. yeah. yeah so yeah. it wasn't That's like quick it wasn't like institution so this was not a private this was not like yeah. uh c lenders or anything this was a bridge direct and bridge to cmhc bridge to cmhc yeah yeah, yeah. I, I think you used uh pkl yeah PKL, yeah. yeah so yeah so we had the original broker and then he said oh i can't get a lender so then that, i was like yeah. oh the deal's done now yeah so then yeah they'll call me again like uh, a couple of days after yeah. oh, i have a broker yeah we'll get this done yeah so yeah, that's so impressive it, in that short of time to get great. that done and close. I remember it, it, it is, I will say like, again, you know, beautiful part, you, you entrust us in the part. <laughs> yeah. Like, so you're very yeah. knowledgeable. You know what you're doing, but there are things where it's like, let's try this. That doesn't work. Let's go with this. Yeah. It, we have like a depth of, um, squad of people, financing, lawyers, accountants, mm -hmm. all that contractors, so you know, get right? It done, right? And if, if you, you call know, in some favors and, you know, yeah, get yeah, some and sometimes done. like, you know, different brokers on the mortgage side, they have strengths in different departments, right? There's, you know, hey, we'll use these guys for this, these guys for that, mm -hmm. these gals for this, these girls for that. So you were, you know, we knew, okay, well, here's one that doesn't work, here's yeah. two, right? And I think you brought in the broker and then he's like, the broker says, I want to work with this lawyer because I can get it done faster. So everybody, yeah. we're working yeah. so yeah, You know who together. can get it done. Yeah. 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 That's and the thing. We've, we've come to that place with what we're doing in the US. Just like there's yeah. like one title company and every time we deal with another one, we're like, Never again. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. we're, we're going to ours, yeah. only ours, firm on yeah. that. You're not working with anybody well, else. Even in the onboarding, yeah. if we don't know who you're going to be using, I mean, we knew the finance people that yeah. you brought to, to the dance originally. They're very strong. Yeah. If we don't know them, we're going to want to meet with them. Yeah. Lawyer, same thing. We, we've done enough deals to know who can get these closed, who can't, right? So we are very much involved in that process to who's on your power team and who we, we want to use on ours and, and make sure that they're all going to be able to do what they say they're going to yeah. do. Yeah. No, and it's, it's, I'll make one more point and then let's keep the story yeah, going because yeah. I don't want it to drag on. But um, what AU was able to do and what you were able to do in this instance, it's what I, 
I always try to explain and educate my new buyers on. My seasoned buyers understand this. And it's the deals are made with decisive action yes. and the speed at which you can act. And yes. the big guys understand this, right? And it's, and it's, you know, we did a deal in three weeks and it saved you 300 plus another 200 off mm -hmm. the original. So let's call it 300 though, right? Where you were still protected. You still had your conditions. You yeah. still had the lawyer. You still had the financing approvals. Yeah. Like nothing was done where you was like, hey man, we're going to throw a Hail Mary and you got to, you know, you just got to. Oh, yeah. No, it was because yeah. I was hearing you on the phone in the other office all yeah. the time. And yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. Um, Great, and so, great point. And so I, I always wanted to stress that. And that's why I wanted to go down this yeah. road of conversation because it's, it's, there's some amazing deals to be had if yes. you're prepared to act. And in this instance, we were, and it, and it just that's happened a, That's to turn a very, that very way. valid point that we probably shouldn't gloss over. So environmental, you know, yeah. inspections, appraisals, all the things that need to be done, uh, you did. You had the time. We just compressed it. You know, we, we talked about this. We get... Uh, We'll get a, you know, on a listing and we'll get an offer and it's 60 day conditional. And you, you know, if you really talk about it, you don't need 60 days. If you're really serious about yeah. this, you could do this in a substantially less yeah. amount of time, right? Yeah. Like you probably call, you, call, you, call, you call in your favors, you get it done, right? Yeah. There's, we're doing a deal in 20 days right now. Like it's, it's totally doable. Absolutely. And again, it's, everybody was contracted. We had the reports yeah. we had, like, but you gotta be specialized. Yeah. Cause I used to do mortgages and I did res and commercial and yeah. I'd have a commercial deal. Like we'd spend 90 days trying to get that all day, but yeah. that wasn't what we did all day. Yeah. That's it. You right? gotta, you gotta yes. have people who are specialized. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. yeah. And then that's the same thing for the lawyers and the fine, yeah. everybody that we use specializes in this mm -hmm. stuff. Right. Yeah. Um, but you know, I, I think, and maybe it's a good question. Did yeah, I know the timelines were compressed, but did you feel like it? You you had all the information and the data you needed. To yeah, make I, I did. Um, but uh, for, for my part, I think I like you said, like you were saying about the the time, like making the good decision quickly, right? I think like sometimes I hesitated. So like yeah. I didn't because uh, it's the first time for me, right? Mm -hmm. Which I think is a normal human reaction. Don't you know? Don't 100%. feel bad about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I think well, the bridge idea was is new, right? But I think like. It helped because Mark and I did, we did put an offering for a previous deal for a sixplex in the, in the um, Kitchener, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And that was, because when we did it, it was okay, we go with CMC. And then it says like, Mark's like, oh, this is a very competitive deal. So we mm -hmm. have to do a bridge. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this is all new to me. Yeah. So I got all experience from that deal. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Right? That what the bridge is and we work through the numbers. So yeah. when you said we can do a deal, I think I was like, yeah, let's do it. You're ready. Right? Yeah. 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 So that helped a bit. Okay. And so now that this deal's closed yeah. and I, I imagine you're working towards a CMHC approval right That's now. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's submitted. It's in. It's, yep. you know, all of that. Yeah. And did you make it in for the approval under the old guidelines or are you going with the new... The fifty point max for no, no, it's not MLS. No, it's, it's through the old it's traditional, traditional CMHC. regular CMHC. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think yeah. at the same time that the bridge went in, they they were in the process of submitting to CMHC as well. Yeah, so he was here, so yeah, submitted in tandem before submission, yeah, okay. I believe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you, I mean, presumably, your that thing's mm -hmm. going to be picked up pretty soon. Probably yeah. cruising through it. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is like by far the least I've ever talked on an episode of this. But. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Andrew. <laughs> but could you just give us uh, like what's the plan of action from right now? I know we were talking yep. financing, yeah. but like are you turning over units or are we good? So you're all, we, you're all tenanted? Mm, it's, so yeah. when we acquired, there's, there's three units vacant. Um, so we're about leasing them now. One was leased yesterday. Beautiful. So, oh, can I ask what you got rental rate? Wise? So we were listed for seventeen fifty. Yep, and we got seventeen fifty. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So plus uh, utilities. Nice. Yeah, plus utilities. Plus so they're, they're, paying yeah. for, uh, they're paying for everything. No, so, no resistance to the baseboard heating. People are okay with that. No, not so far. Like, yeah. um, we so until they we, watch this video. Thanks for that. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so they, it's, it's plus you um, hydro or. Yeah, electrical. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, 65 bucks is flat rate for water. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we're going to reconcile every three to six months. Yeah. Perfect. So, okay. But that was a fight. Just as a side note, the uh, the owners, the property manager lives on site. And they're great. And the property managers there are good. The supers, I guess we'll call them, and lives in one of the units. And she's raving about how the... Uh, the listing for the lease is uh, what did what was the wording? Adults only. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and we're looking at each other. Like, well, we're going to change that when he firms up. Like yeah. adult only, you know, apply because they didn't want any any. any These were the right? previous uh, previous yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good but when you're talking when you're here. talking a two bed or even a three bed town, 
to say adults only really limits you because realistically, like a three yeah. bed town, it's gonna go to a family. Like, that is that is your tenant profile. Because she lived there. I mean, God bless her. She was great, but she lived there, right? So she wanted to kind of control the, yeah. the flow, and they're still mm-hmm. hitting. Like she was still leasing those up, right? Yeah. So, Interesting. Yeah. 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 That's so. So you're renting. You have two more to rent then. Two more to rent. We had um, a lot of traction this week. Uh, a lot of viewing this on uh, Monday. So we we're waiting for mm-hmm. response from one other um, mm-hmm. prospective tenant. So. So yeah, hopefully and, before September. And what's your involvement in this like? Not much. <laughs> I have a great property manager yep. yeah. that they've introduced me to. Yep. She is great. Isn't she great? Yeah. yeah. She's amazing. Yeah. Is it the same same lady you're using on your same project lady on mine, out there? Yeah. yeah. And okay. She's a pit bull. She's lovely. Yeah, she so knows her stuff. We yeah. we do all the all the leases because um the previous leases was just like one paper, <laughs> not yeah. a standard lease or not a mm-hmm. legal lease. So we did all of those. We um, make sure we have we brought all town insurance of up to two million. Yep. Yeah. So and then yeah. we were able to um, collect some of the rent increase, and then we put some put out the five or six more N ones. Yeah. For the next three months. So amazing. Yeah. And everybody paid on the first. For the first month, we were looking. Tra- well, the transition month is always yeah. After. So yeah, we no. closed on the twenty fourth, right? So Got it. it was okay. just like a week. And the previous owner, they were doing like uh, direct um, withdrawal, mm-hmm. but they had to trigger it. Okay. So it wasn't like automatic. Got it. Mm-hmm. So we had to transition to that. So the the payments were a little delayed on that. I, yep. I said to yep. my pro- um, property manager, I said, it's fine. You know, we can't get it all. It's fine. Like if it's yeah. mid months, it's fine. Yeah. So yeah. case in point for why you got to have cash in the account for all that stuff for when your mortgage payments coming exactly. out. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. Because things are sometimes messy in the short run. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that transitional probably. month is always challenging, yeah. right? Yeah. Like there's yeah. so, so many different things coming out. You got utility bills, yeah. you got this, and you're yeah. trying to get it all set up. And you yeah. know how many people look at a deal and they never plan for how much contingency funds they need to set in the account as part of the investment. I look at that as part of the investment. Yeah. The cash that's got to sit in the account is part of the investment. Yeah. 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 Well, well said. Yeah. Has to be. So yeah, you use the uh, finance people, the property managers. So those they're all working well for you. Yeah, like the the lawyer too. The so lawyer, yeah, yeah, she was great. Um, and yeah, the property manager, <laughs> we love her. Yeah, she's so, she's really for, good. For context, what do you what do you do? Like, you don't have to give specifics, but what do you do for work? Just I, so I you... work in the pharmaceutical industry. Okay. Yeah. So, so you're full time. Full time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't have a whole lot of time for this. This is this is your wealth play, but it's a passive, more yes. passive. Yeah, and I like the area because um, we have a family cottage that way, so I drive up that way a lot. So yeah. you can just drive by, see it. Yeah. So you can drive by and look at it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we even talked about that at our first meeting because it's something I always try to bring up, and I say to to everybody, I go, you know, like investing in in secondary tertiary ontario southern ontario it's 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 a fantastic market because the numbers make more sense your rental rates are mm-hmm. generally the same like and we similar. talk about this yeah, all the time similar. we say 1750 for a two bed or is it the two bed or the three bed you rented for two seven? bed two bed so 1750 for a two bed now we're getting seventeen fifty for a two bed in London. I'm getting and seventeen pr- fifty for a two bed in Brampton. Price per unit. He's <laughs> you can go getting your price though. per unit on a townhome yeah. cheaper than you are yeah. on your. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yours. And, and well, the, what was the ballpark? If we, can we share that the what? ballpark price per unit? Uh, one fifty seven. Yeah, one fifty seven wow. for towns that are metered. Just to put that into perspective. Yeah, right? that sounds I, nice. I, yeah. I, I got to be careful because there's still really good deals that aren't out there. I don't want to be the only guy that's out singing that that's the best. But there's for what mm-hmm. again what you were required and what you were looking yeah. for. It hit it. The challenges there are: Do you have property management? If yeah. You don't have good property management. Yeah. It's quite a drive, right? And it would be a full time job for you. Yeah, so that yeah. was <laughs> something we chatted about. I said, look, in this area. I have a very good property yeah. manager. In fact, she's doing my yeah. townhomes, which are yeah. 30 minutes. Well, from, and if you didn't here. have that, that means you've got to be the one to go vet the power team yeah. and, and like go find them, which you can do, but that's a big commitment. It's a lot of work, yeah. right? And that's not what you wanted, right? So th- there's a thing where other clients, that's what they want. They want to be fully involved. They want this to be their full-time job. They want, yeah. they want, they want. And that's great. That's a whole different model. Mm-hmm. What you wanted was not that. Yeah, it's funny. So like, I actually Google like property manager out there like, <laughs> there's no one no, no. There's no that's one. one of the big that's one of the biggest challenge or the biggest uh re- rejections i get when i say hey have you looked in these areas right mm-hmm. people go well I, I don't even know i think it's fear of like i have yeah. no idea where that is yeah i don't know about management yeah. i don't know about this i don't know that but the metrics work like bruce power and 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 there's other employment yeah, notes yeah. Uh, sorry Andrew, you well, want i was to just gonna something? say can yeah. we make a note about that with small towns in general that's often the case because yes. it's a lot of just word of mouth oh that's john's 
John's sister takes care of yeah, that. Exactly. You know I mean? yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have a website, let yeah, alone yeah, Google yeah, listings. Yeah, like, because right. they never needed it. They never right? needed it. Right. Like, people just you're know right they're, the, they're the person in town that does that. Yeah. They got a couple of signs up. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. seen their yeah. signs. Yellow pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. seriously. Right? And no yeah. one uses the yellow pages anymore. So. <laughs> That's and funny. It was probably easier to find people back then with yellow pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and so, moving forward. Um, what are the next steps for you in this investment? Um, so we'll try to uh, just rent, uh, lease those three odd units yep. out mm. with the cash flow pretty good, and yeah. then wait for turnovers. Yeah. Right? Just sit. No, and even yeah. without those those two two units leased, you're still cash flowing. It's covering. Um, not with the bridge, but with now with the bridge. Once it goes into CMHC, yeah. though, yeah. So yeah. how long do you have with the bridge before you'll be in CMHC? You figure. I don't know the normal process. I'm not sure, but the normal process. It, I mean, it was submitted when he closed the deal, so you're, you're at most a couple months out. Yeah. At most. yeah. Okay. When did and we closed when? June 24. June 24. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the, the deadline? The 25th. Uh, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And then okay. Yeah. So yeah. you're still you're, yeah. you're a couple more months. You're, you're, you should be you're wrapped up. Coming yeah. Up, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. So and at that point, what do you figure you'll have with the current tenant base uh, for cash flow? Cash for it depends on the interest rate. So I, if it's about five, I, I think I run about five. It's about 40, 46, 47. 4700 a month. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's and that's only going to go up when you rent more units. Yeah, yeah. And then and how that, much? That's with R and M and stuff in, included in and, it as and well. Your yeah, you're taking off like We're, that's yeah. so that's with yeah. CMHC full, underwriting. Full C, so that's him. Full marketing. CMHC yeah. underwriting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's a smart play for sure. So then you rent those units. That cash flow is going to go up even more. That's pretty solid. It's incredible. Solid. And here's yeah. a nice long-term play, right? So you get natural turnover. That's great. You don't have to force appreciation. It's going to happen. These are individually titled. I was just about to go there. I was going to so say, are they condoed? Yeah, or are they, they individually? Are. Yeah. So yeah. there's a, a, a BC that was done. So effectively, the option that uh, Abe has in the long term is make them all condos uh, and sell them off individually. And there's actually not a lot of work left to do that. So the reserve fund studies there, you'd have to fund the reserve fund um, and then charge the maintenance fee and then you can start to sell them off. Yeah. So there is work, but it's a, it's a, not a need to do now, but as an exit strategy long-term, yeah. it's something that I see it now when you hit, you know, hit retirement age, right. And mm -hmm. then you're, you're on your sailboat in the Mediterranean or something, you're having your crystal yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and you know, you just, you sell one off at a time. That's right. Well, oh, there's 650 K yeah, there's six. Right. <laughs> well, that's, that, just... it's, it's nice because, uh, that's not always an option. And so we, you, you know, I mean, on yeah. the agency side, what happens is people say you can make these condos. It's like, well, okay. What's really entailed in that? So this one, they're actually individually they're titled, titled. Mm -hmm. and the reserve fund study has been completed. The there's um, so there's a few more mechanisms you'd need to do to do it, but it's, it's like a legal registration, legal registration, and then, and and then you fund the reserve, reserve fund, yeah. and then you're good. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I'm getting 20 tax bills, 20 water bills. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say logistically, that's probably less fun, but yeah. actually, yeah. it yeah, is a very a common of, yeah. thing. It's a very common thing because the res rate for like a condo is less than the Correct. multifamily rate at the same valuation. So a lot of people would do that. They would condo something just to get the tax break. And yeah. that's true. The, yeah. the transfer tax is actually lower than that. Correct. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. That's exactly it. Yeah. So, so it's a nice, it's a nice long-term option. Doesn't mean yeah. you're going to do it, no, but yeah. it's a nice term option where to your point, you know, you, you can do that and sell off four or five, keep the rest, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And so um, in just the, so the metrics of the deal. So just to recap, yeah. and then I'm going to ask one more question and I think we can wrap it up. But um, so metrics of the deal was, it was about 150 a door. Yep. ish right 157 157 yeah. a door yeah, that's, right. so that's why i like you it was reasons, uh, but you're very yeah you got you got he your numbers down man. Numbers. well um, i'm a numbers guy yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know, yeah and then cap rate do you know what the cap rate was using cmhc underwriting i i didn't calculate that i don't remember he knew okay. the number he cared about which was yeah. cash flow, which is the yeah. cash flow number <laughs> yeah. and so you're saying cash flow is four thousand seven hundred a month it's around there. It depends on what the uh, interest rate you use. Of course. I think it's like five. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so MHC is actually down right now. Like bonds sure have is. come down significantly yeah. since you've You're purchased. You're looking at more than that. We sure. just yeah. closed yeah. one at four, five, seven yeah. or something like yeah. that. So you when might I be down. more than that, I meant more cash flow. Not yeah. Rate. Yeah. So you might be closer to like five, six, maybe Thousand. more. Yeah. 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 But anyway, we'll see what happens when yeah. it actually closes because we can lock in the rate, hopefully. Well, even when we were doing, I mean, and t testament to the uh, the mortgage brokers on this, you know, building in those cushions, right? So we were all pretty comfortable that even at the time, it wasn't 5%. It was a bit below, but just adding that cushion, yeah. uh, you know. Which is smart. 
Yeah. Which is yeah. smart. Yeah, I think our DCR was like 1.3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. quite high. Man, yeah, the cap rate, I, I honestly, I can't, this, I can't remember, but this is a very detailed anatomy of a deal episode. So cool. We no, I like We this. haven't this done one great. like this. Yeah. yeah. Because there's such a real element to it because it's, it's done. But you the, know, yeah, it's your deal. Like, you know yeah. it well. Yeah. Uh, all the moving pieces. And, and the other thing quick yeah. about the deal itself is none of the units need major overhaul. There's some in varying degrees, yeah. but they're all mm -hmm. yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Uh, if not great. So from a CapEx yeah. perspective, there's there's effectively none. Yeah. And even if you if you know you review yeah. the um, reserve fund study, which basically says what you'll need to do over the next 10 years, yeah. basically a BCA, um, they always go uh, conservative in that. And you were mm -hmm. looking at 200 grand over the next 10 years, 60 or 80 of thousand of which was to pave the parking lot, which is an obscene amount. And then mm -hmm. a big chunk of it was windows, which is right. just, just obscene. So, right. you know, all that you to say, do it for less. You, you're yeah. really not looking at, that's a very long winded way to say, there's not a lot of CapEx. You can refresh some of the units to try to capture higher market yeah. rent, yeah. which we chatted about. But in those areas, I don't think you get you the value. Need to. You, need to, you yeah. can overdo it. So if you're doing things, it's going to be a light refresh yeah. and capture a little bit yeah. more market. So Amazing. not a lot of money to deploy long term. And yeah. so what's the what's what's the future plan for your investment strategy as a whole? Like, are, would you continue to invest in yeah, the, in the think, Paisley but, area? Um, I don't know what the area oh, depends what the deal is, right? What yeah. the numbers make sense, yeah. I'll yeah. go, right? Yeah. So I, I think I'll, I need to learn, uh, I increase my knowledge a little more because like you said, if, you need to act fast in a good deal. Yeah. So I think sometimes I hesitate. So I want yeah. to make sure I'm ready to, yeah. to act as quick as possible and know, know a little, like broaden my knowledge a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also like a little bit of property management. Like I don't know anything more property management. So I, I want to learn. I'm not going to mm -hmm. try to do it, but mm -hmm. just yeah. to learn about. Just going through this experience. You're yeah. And then yeah. Yeah. like in the terminology, right? Like what's an N1? It's an N5. Yeah. Right? I just. Yeah. And like when you, when we're talking, right? We're like, yeah. what's these? I didn't know what these things are, right? So yeah. I just educate myself mm -hmm. on these terms. But it's a nice way to do it now. There's no pressure to like the way you're yeah. doing it is kind of mm -hmm. you're like, hey, set it up, and then you know, I'll pop in when I got a That's, long weekend to say, hey, how's things going? Like so it's the fun to yeah. the conversation. That's why we got into the weeds and what you're trying to do mm -hmm. and back to what your goals are. Because if you're like, you're very successful, you don't want to be this to be your full time job because yeah. it'll right. drive your actual full time job down the tube. So. That's a huge yeah. indicator of what we can't even look at as a deal, yeah. right? It excludes yeah. a bunch of stuff that's out there. Wow. It's that's great. Yeah. yeah. And that's like, that's a big difference. Cause like sometimes you go to a realtor and they'll just start showing you everything. And they, they're like, I've had it happen to me. I'm like, well, you weren't listening to what I said. Yeah. I don't want yeah. that type because it doesn't fit. Yeah. yeah. So the big thing is yeah, starting with fit. And I know we've talked yeah. about that a bunch, Jake, going right back to the beginning episodes of this is it's got to fit with what you're, what you're yeah. trying to do. Has to. And there's patience, yeah. right? Patience yeah. is a part of it, right? Sometimes patience, things yeah. take a little while. Like you said, yeah, the, deal, like, the deal fell apart, right? Yeah. Like, well, well yeah. when we talked, he's like, oh, how, how long is this deal going to take? Like, how long will we get a property? He said, oh, it might be the fall. So I'm like, okay. Sure. Yeah. 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 Well, set expectations, right? Because, yeah. you know, what? like the reality is if this one didn't pan out, then there's been a few more that have come along. Yeah. Right. But you had a good grasp on what you wanted. Yes. And that actually helps us, but it also may make the timeline a little longer, mm -hmm. right? But I love when clients come to me and they're like, this town, this is my budget, like this yeah. kind of building, because I'm actually like amazing. Because right. now I have a very clear defined role of what yeah. AU needs. And when I'm hunting and I find that building, boom, I got the buyer for it, yeah. right? And yeah. it's not uh, trying to pair things to, you know wishy-washy there so yeah very yeah. good we should put a bow on this one yes we've gone yeah. quite quite <laughs> yeah quite <a> <laughs> all right so uh if if you made it this far watching this episode i hope you enjoyed this one very different um but i'm glad we did it so make sure you show the channel some love and then of course um make sure you're on our insiders mailing list so the rei hot seat insiders mailing list is that what we're calling it hey. am i saying that right yeah it's oh, an rei hot that's, seat that's, insider yeah. anyway yeah um Join that list because that kind of, that gets you into the funnel, gets you into the world. You're going to start seeing right. about events, which I'm supposed to ask you guys. There's yes. an event coming up. One second. And it also gets you access to these, you know, deal of the week type deals where you're going to see some stuff that's on the show, some stuff that's not. Uh, yeah. So you're going to want to make sure you're there. And uh, guys, shoot about the event. Yeah. So if you sign up, just on touch on, on that, um, do, you can do what AU did. We can get in, help you analyze deals, look at stuff on market, off market all that uh, and we are going to be getting a booth for keyspire right? mm -hmm. yeah which is where you 
started if i'm that's not right. mistaken that's what yeah. you said yeah so. that was uh, i didn't even know that but that was a really yeah, nice that was a good full <laughs> circle yeah. that was a good full you circle you know when it. it is do we know when i think coming? zach's running that one so yeah in so, september sometime is this something that our audience can like come meet you guys at, yeah or, yeah so how does that work you well do? so it, again if you sign up to the link we're going to be sending emails out okay. leading up to the event with all the information um i know there's some general admission tickets that are free, free to my yeah. understanding yeah um we're not doing a great job at explaining this, but uh, yeah, we'll, if you we'll, sign we'll up, you'll up get the this. emails. Yeah, yeah. And if you're uh, on know, the list, we're good at what it. we are, need yeah. to be. But in any event, sometime in September, sign up. We get you the info. There are free admission tickets uh, yeah. to, to yeah. a subset of people. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, we'll be there. And yeah. we'd love to just yeah connect with more people, sit down, have a chat. We might set up a little podcast studio at the booth, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If Fabe, if you're going to be there, we'll shoot another one. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> no, it's up. good. Yeah. Yeah, the, the key is, yeah, we just want to make sure, like, just like the show, the insiders list, we want to just add a ton of value. So, uh, yeah, sign up, and uh, we'll see you guys next week on the episode. Ayub, thanks for doing this. Thank yeah, you so much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.